Hello. This week I thought I'd take a look at real-time entry in Sibelius with some tips. It's also known as Flex the Time, and you can find it up in the Note Input section of the rib ri ribbon. Don't like saying it. Some people don't like it. Um, notice you have I have a passage here with rather complicated voice 1 and voice 2 parts in the right hand. How do you play this efficiently and quickly? Now, obviously, I think the quickest way to get music into Sibelius is to play it in. If you're a pianist, you can probably play this without any trouble with two hands. But it really isn't a piano part. It's more of like a conductor's, reduced conduct, conductor's score, uh, reduced score that you might run across. But let's say you have something like this anyhow, even if it is playable by piano. How do you enter, enter it in here? Obvious way is just to play it in and hope that you can play both voices at the same time. And you simply select in your real-time entry to play both voices, record both voices. I'm going to show you a different way to do it. Unfortunately, I've had major problems trying to get audio from Sibelius to work with audio from my microphone. Since I'm not doing it in a recording the uh, audio separately or it wasn't till now so I've entered in the music and you'll you're thinking to yourself wait a second that's supposed to be voice one not voice two could easily change it but I recommend going to renotate performance after every time you get done doing real-time entry leave the defaults for now and it corrects any rhythmic slight rhythmic problems you may have had and you've got your correct first part and as you might guess, you then come back and play just the second part, the voice two. It's much easier to play one voice at a time. And if you make some minor mistakes in voice two, it's easy to go back and do some manual editing. Now let's say you have a really complicated, let's say some Baroque contrapuntal music with three or four voices going on. This method might work but you're probably more likely to make some more make more mistakes just because of the nature of the music so what I do in that case is I go to another staff in this case I'm going to come down to the bass clef play in a couple of measures it's in voice two like it should be so the first thing I did when doing this method was highlight the section I just played in and then copy it or paste it into the section where it belongs that makes sense to me but when you do this notice I've got it highlighted you come up to the spot and hit paste and of course it wipes out everything that was there that's because you're cop copying and pasting it's copying not only the voice two that you see, but that little teeny rest in voice one that's in the middle of the measure. So you can select just voice two, let's control alternate shift two, and paste it in there. And sometimes that works, but what I find is better is to go to the keypad, select a quarter note rest in voice two, and put it in the destination measure, just like it's shown here and then paste it in but I didn't select voice 2 I still have voices 1 and 2 in the clipboard so I have to go back to the original source measures here do control alternate shift 2 or you can select certain voices from um, from the other menu options so I do control alternate shift 2 there we go control C can't see me doing that but I did it click on the rest control V and there you go you've got your notes that you need okay. I find that this method is probably the easiest for doing more complicated voice two methods in here now you may have been wondering about the left hand part here in that in that measure why do I have a bunch of just same notes and, because I'm copying what's up there. So what I did was I played in the rhythm 
just the rhythm on a single note. I'm going to go up to re-input pitches. And play in the chord, the notes you want. When you have tied notes, you have to be sure to play the beginning and the tied note. You can't just play the first part of the tie. And that is a great way if you have complicated rhythms. Of course, this rhythm repeats each measure. But if you had a complicated rhythmic section, play in the rhythm at a very slow tempo. That's another tip. Slow your tempo down. Play in the complicated rhythm. Let's say you have wide stretches and hands and so forth. And just simply come back and re-notate the pitches. Of course, another thing to do is to look for rhythmically or melodically similar passages and cut and paste rather than having to re-enter them again. Here I'm copying that last measure, but I'm putting in completely different pitches but it's the same rhythm. I hope this was of some help to you. Please visit my website, jamesgilbertmusic.com. If you have any questions or you have suggestions for a new video, please drop me a note.